rupees 11,384 crores swindling by Nirav Modi and company through the Punjab National Bank's fake letter of undertaking shows there are hundreds of scams happening in the country. This is not a one odd case. There are many scams happening in the banks, uh, public sector companies and private sector companies. So that shows a strong coalition of political class, business class and uh, banking class. As long as this coalition survives and thrives, the scams will continue to happen. This is happening for the last so many years, especially in this case, Punjab National Bank. The letter of undertaking which has been given fakely has been happening since 2011. So if this is happening for the last seven years, what has been the government, Reserve Bank of India and the top notches of the Punjab National Bank been doing all these days, all these years. So if you wanted to correct the system, the government needs to have spine and have to get a clear strategy to deal with it. If the government is also part of this scam, then even God cannot help it. From Vijay Malaya to Nirav Modi, there are so many uh, business people are involved in looting the public money. Public is keen to invest their savings in the public sector companies so that the savings can be saved. But unfortunately, uh, this has been uh, put in a big trouble and the public sector banks are continuing to lose money to the fake business people. So with the digital technology, it has become easy for the fraudsters to loot the public money. But with the same digital technology, it is easy for the government to monitor, to audit and to put the sincerity in place in the banking system. Now the government should use the digital technology to audit the banks regularly and to punish those who involve any fraud scams immediately.